Hello and welcome to another easy cake decorating tutorial with Mrs B Bakes. I'm Helen from Mrs B Bakes and today I'm going to show you how to make a little cat cake topper for the top of your cake. So for this model um, we're going to use some grey fondant. I've already mixed some white fondant with some black fondant. Um, a small piece of black fondant I'm using green just for the cat's eyes and um, you can use any colour you like and a little tiny bit of white for the specks in the eyes. You'll need a sharp knife and um, a ball tool or that could be replaced with anything that's got a nice round end, um, the end of a clean paintbrush for example. And um, the gum tragosanth which I use in all of my models just to make them dry harder and stand up a bit better. Okay. So we're going to start with the grey fondant. Um, I haven't added any gum trag yet, so I'll just do that now. Put a goodly sprinkling in there. And we need to mould that in. Generally splashes about a little bit. Make sure you've got it all in there. Give it a good mix Stick to my fingers okay now what I'm going to do is cut maybe a third of that off and put that to one side now this the two thirds is going to be the cat's body as you saw we're doing a model of the cat lying down so what I'm going to do, I just roll it be between my hands to make it nice and smooth and crease free and then I'm going to um, turn it into a teardrop shape. So I'm going to apply more pressure at the top of my hands than at the bottom to turn it into a nice teardrop shape. So with a lot of standing models we'd use that, that way up but obviously this is um, a cat that's lying down so I'm going to place that just on the mat there. It's a nice shape. Okay, so with this other third, what I'm going to do is cut a little bit off, perhaps a third of this for um, legs and a tail. I'm going to keep this third here just for the head. So once again, roll it between the palms. Oops. Put a nice nail mark in that. You can see that smooths out quite nicely. So I'm going to roll this around and just make it slightly, slightly oval, if you can, rather than a ball. Okay, so I'm just going to put that down. That will actually sit on the end of the body like that. But I'm just going to put it down there so we can see what we're doing now. I'm taking the ball tool to make the eyes, so I'm going to put them sort of two thirds of the way up, make a nice hole for each eye, keep it nice and circular. And then I'm going to take this white fondant, cut that in half, just smooth it a little bit because it has gone a little bit hard having sat there. So I'll just cut that in half again. And I'm going to use one each of these balls just to pop into those holes. Now the purpose of the little sort of holes indentations is just so that the eyes don't stand off the face too much. It just gives it quite a nice lifelike impression. So there we go, that's the cat's eyes. So taking a tiny little bit of the green, as I say you can use any colour for this, um, any colour you like, I just thought green might be quite nice. So we've got a really tiny piece. I'm going to cut that in half and just roll each side and then squash those on. Now I'm going to have my cat sort of looking downwards and inwards. So just put those onto there and squash them down onto there and with a tiny, even tinier piece of the black, that's probably going to be too big, 
might just want half of that for the pupil on each eye. So I'll cut that in half again. Make a little pupil on each eye. Again, try and sort of squash that down to be looking downwards and inwards. There we go. Now I'm going to use the black as the sort of snout of the cat. So I'm going to take off probably, um, I don't know, a peanut sized, what would you say? It's not quite Maltese sized, but uh, yeah, a large pea, a very large pea size. And I'm going to cut that in half and roll it into two equal sized balls and then I'm going to place those just under the eyes and sort of squash them down as you can see that makes the snout. Now I do need a little piece of pink which I hadn't mentioned before, apologies, we need a little tiny bit of pink for the nose so I'm just going to Cut that down a little bit because I don't think we need quite that much. So a little tiny bit of pink into a um, into a little ball. I'm just going to place that on top of the muzzle. And if you squash it down, you'll see it just sort of takes the shape of a nose really nicely because it goes into the muzzle. Um, now I shall use a cocktail stick just to poke in some little whisker holes like that. And what I might do for added cuteness is just take another little tiny bit of pink and roll it into a sort of oval shape, flatten it a bit and then I'm going to put a little mark in the middle of it like it's a tongue. I'm going to cut the end off to make it flat and then that is going to go just under one side of his muzzle, of his snout, sorry. So you can see it looks like he's got his tongue sticking out. So that's going to sit quite nicely on the front of there. Now we need to make some little ears. So I'm going to take again a large pea size the grey fondant, give it a good roll. Then I'm going to cut it in half place those on there and flatten them okay and then I'm going to use my ball tool again you don't have to you could use use your little finger to indent but just to sort of make a bit more of a indentation in there. Now they don't look very much like cat's ears at the moment so what I'm going to do is just cut off sort of a, a little bit at the bottom which is going to go flat against the head and then to make them a bit more catty I'm just going to pinch the top. You can see that I'm just going to pinch that top as well just to make it also more pointy and then I'm just going to place that on top of the head like that. So there I'll just lift that up so you can see cute little cat head. Just squash those ears down make sure they're flat against the head until you're happy. Okay so let's make some paws so the front, the two front paws are just going to be sticking out next to his head. So we don't need legs. Um, this is if he's sort of lying down and ready to pounce. So I'll just roll this little piece of black again, cut it in half. So you've got two equal sizes. And what I'm going to do with these, I'll show you on my hand, just roll it smooth. So there we have a ball and I'm just going to roll it at one end to have a sort of teardrop shape 
and then take my sharp knife and I'm just going to put some little pore marks into that. I'll do the same with this one. So I'll roll it out into a nice, nice smooth ball into a teardrop shape. Place it on the mat. Take your knife and just make some little lines, little pore marks. And then I'm just going to lift his head and just sort of place them underneath there so it looks as if he's armed and ready to pounce. So the back legs, I'm just going to take um, maybe a Malteser sized piece of the grey to make the legs. And then cut that in half. And I'm just going to make, as we did before, but on a larger scale, a teardrop and not so not so thin at one end. And I'll lay that on the mat and I'm just going to squash this um, the bulbous end a little bit and lift it up in between my fingers and just sort of squash that back a little bit as well. So it sort of looks like the cat's um, lying down, it's on its haunches and it's ready to go. So I'm going to place that at the back of the cat there where its leg is. Do the same with this one, so into a teardrop shape and then flatten the bulbous bit out and then just push that back into a little leg. So there we have another leg, so stick that on the other side. And then as we did before, take a piece of the black. And we'll cut that in half and make the back paws. So more or less the same again. So make make that teardrop. And this time we're just going to flatten flatten the end of that so that it'll join up with those legs nicely. Make the little paw marks, and then they can. Sort of squash against there. You've got a little cat with black socks on, which is quite cute. So squash that end to make it flat because it's going to join up with the leg. And then make the little paw marks with your knife and place those. Place that. Just there so he's, he's ready to go. So I'm going to give him a grey tail. So I'll take a Malteser size piece of grey and what I'm going to do is just make it into a sausage but with a tapered end. Right, make it a little bit longer so that what I can do is place one end against the cat's bottom and just sort of coil it round to make a nice little cat. And there he is, your finished cat. <laughs>